Jurgen Klopp's team tried everything, but they came up against uh, Courtois in goal, who was just absolutely unbeatable yesterday. He produced about 20 world-class stops. <laughs> Big to claim the Champions League trophy for what would have been the seventh time ended in disappointment last night after Vinicius Junior's second half strike gave Real Madrid victory in the final in Paris. Jurgen Klopp's team tried everything, but they came up against uh, Courtois in goal, who was just absolutely unbeatable yesterday. He produced about 20 world class stops. Six from Mo Salah himself, who was looking for revenge for that 2018 final where he got injured against Real Madrid, which Liverpool went on to lose, obviously, 3-1. Uh, the win uh, gives Carlo Ancelotti, uh, makes history by becoming the first coach to win the Champions League four times. I'm joined by Sahil to discuss last night's game. Sahil, what did you make of it all? Well, it was a good game, obviously. You could see that Liverpool had dominated the game. They had the chances. Real Madrid score on the first start, first shot on target. And if we see, like, always we keep saying that Liverpool on paper were better. And they were showing that they were better. But in the end, they did not take their chances. So it clearly shows that that mentality again comes in where Real Madrid have that, that Champions League mentality. And this is their... I don't know, fifth Champions League in seven, eight, eight years. So yeah. they've done it again and they, they've worked hard for it and they deserve it, I guess. Yeah, they worked absolutely hard. I mean, Liverpool started that game really well. They came at them. It was one-way traffic. And as we know, Carl Ancelotti's teams defend really well. But honestly, Courtois in goal, man of the match. I mean, if he wasn't in goal, this could have been five or six nil to Liverpool, couldn't it have been? Surely. I mean, he was on fire. You could just see that this is one of the best Champions League performances of all time in a final. Wow. How did he save that goal for Mane? How? That was an impossible save because Courtois was going on his right and Mane had struck it on the left side of the goal. And somehow he got a palm to it and hit the post. That is just magical. That, that, that is, you can say it's a heroic performance. Like they needed a hero and their goalkeeper was their hero today. Absolutely spot on. That's the right word to describe it. It was heroic. I mean, literally, had he not been in goal, Liverpool would have been out of sight within the first 15 or 20 minutes. I mean, they came out of the blocks like we know Liverpool do. They play on the front foot and really aggressive. They close the space down. They did all of that. So uh, there was nothing wrong with Liverpool's performance yesterday. They played like, you know, how we all expected them to play. But they came up against Courtois, who was just absolutely unbeatable. It's not the first time he's played that way, especially in the Champions League this season. Against PSG, he did the same thing, made some incredible saves. Against Man City, did the same thing, kept them in the tie. Against Chelsea, you know, <laughs> we've got to talk about Real Madrid's comebacks this season, in those three games in particular. They've been so close, so close, especially against Man City. Come on, 5-3 in injury time. Rodrigo scored two goals in injury time to take the game to extra time. I mean, they could have been knocked out ages ago, but uh, what is it about them that's been so impressive this season? So how have they managed to you know, get through these tough games against those three teams. The European champions, Chelsea, PSG, Messi and Neymar up front, Mbappe, and then Man City. But they've blown them all away. And now they've beaten Liverpool in a final, which, you know, for the first 15, 20 minutes at least, they just weren't even contesting. You know, I keep saying this, like, it's that mentality, that Real Madrid mentality in the Champions League. Look, look at the manager there, Carlo Ancelotti. You said he's won the four Champions Leagues with different teams that too. So he is, a, this is, I think, his second for Real Madrid. And what he's done for them is brilliant. Like, he, I guess he knows how to motivate his players. And this season, they've had heroes in each game. Courtois is one hero. Benzema won them against PSG, an unbelievable hat trick. Against Man City, Benzema scored two important goals in the first leg. Vinicius Jr. has done everything this season, you know. I remember him getting a lot of slack in the past few seasons when he joined Real Madrid, that he didn't have the finishing touch. There you go, and Vinicius Junior scored in the Champions League final for them. He was at the right place, right time. And then you see that midfield three, Cruz, Modric, Casemiro. How long have we been seeing these three? How many Champions Leagues have they won together now? Four Champions Leagues. Like Modric, this is Modric's fifth. And Casemiro and Cruz joined Modric. 
But this, these three in midfield have, have not changed. It's the same midfield, and that's why they keep winning. You can see Valverde started on the right side yesterday for Angelotti. He had Asensio, he had Rodrigo, he had Gareth Bale on the bench. But he started Valverde, and Valverde was the one who provided the assist. So these decisions Mr. Angelotti makes is great. And I guess, so if you're asking me, what is the reason? I guess it's their manager. The manager deserves a huge amount of credit. Everyone talks about Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, obviously for genuinely good reasons. Those two are fantastic. But, but Ancelotti's been doing this for, for way longer. Obviously, he's older than these guys. He's won t- uh, titles in every league that he's played in, Spanish league, Italian league, English league. He's done it everywhere. Four Champions Leagues is not a joke either. But the players that you touched on, so you're absolutely right. Again, I mean, people like Modric, for example, he's got to be 37, I think, uh, pretty soon. Yes. But he's still playing like he's, you know, 27. He's still able to pull those strings. You know, he knows what to do on the ball. He's never under pressure on the ball. He looks like he's got more time than anybody. He can carry on playing for probably another couple. Of, just like Ronaldo at Man United, you know, he's fit as a fiddle. Modric as well can carry on going. How long do you think he can keep playing for? As long as he wants, like four or five years more, he can definitely reach that 40 plus mark and play. And he, he's going to stay another year at Real Madrid. Let's see how he does that year also. But he, it looks like he doesn't want to leave Real Madrid. So let's see how he goes on. Yeah, I think definitely Real Madrid looking very strong. Obviously, they've got Rudiger now next season at the back. So that will make him even more stronger. Uh, looks like Bale's going to be saying goodbye. He didn't manage to get onto the pitch. Still got a winner's medal, though, so he, he leaves. But, uh, yeah, I really are looking really strong. Let's talk about Liverpool just uh, for a little while. You know, for a long, long time, there was talk about that historic quadruple, and it was very much there for them. Very unlucky for them to lose a league title by one point to Man City, that two on the final day of the season. Uh, and then, obviously, they come to the Champions League final. They did, like we've said, everything right. They had loads of shots on target. More shots than actually uh, Real Madrid, but uh, came up against Courtois and goal. But they do end the season now with just two domestic trophies, the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. I mean, considering what they could have achieved and what they've actually gone on to do, look, for most teams, two trophies is amazing. Most teams, one trophy is really good. They've still got two trophies, but they've lost out on the two big ones, the Premier League and the Champions League. How do you think Klopp and the team and the fans are going to be feeling this morning? I mean, obviously, they'll be feeling devastated because they're yet so close, but yet so far for these two trophies, for the Premier League, for the Champions League. Yes, they won the FA Cup, they won the League Cup. doesn't matter, you know, they shouldn't feel disappointed. I'm sure the fans will not be disappointed at their team. Yes, Liverpool should have taken their chances in the Champions League. There's no doubt about that. There's no excuses that, oh, Courtois did this, that. No, you have to find, just find that bottom corner then. That's all you can say, but... I mean, Liverpool have done nothing wrong. They have done absolutely brilliant this season. With the team they have, the way Jurgen Klopp grooms his players, absolutely fantastic. They should not feel disappointed. They should have their head, heads held up high because next season, they're going to do the same. They're going to fight for the Premier League. They're going to fight for the Champions League, obviously for the other two domestic cups. So for me, having Liverpool have done brilliantly. They've done nothing wrong. Yes, they, were, they missed out on the Premier League thanks to some Man City heroics. And here they lost to the Champions League thanks to some Thibaut Courtois heroics. But they should not feel sad at all. They've done brilliant. They've done brilliant. And in fact, Jurgen Klopp's already been saying yesterday in his press conferences that they should, uh, the Liverpool fans should be booking the hotel at Istanbul for next season because he's that confident that he's going to be getting them to the Champions League final again. I think, I mean, with that team that they've got, obviously there's been some rumours about Sadio Mane about what his next move is going to be. The, most Salah has already said he's going to be staying on for another season. They've got the likes of Diaz there, Yota there, Firmino, Van Dijk at the back. We know how strong they are. But uh, what do you think they can achieve next season? Was this a chance, you know, for that quadruple? Do you think they'll ever have a chance like this again? Do you think they can achieve this next season? I mean, it's not like when you say the word quadruple, it's not an easy task. Come on. Like, yes, they were contending for everything. Credit to them. Even, you know, when you're contending for four trophies in one, that's a big deal. So credit to them. But... It's not easy to win a quadruple. Yes, uh, I, if you're asking me if they'll get it again, I can't really say that. But, you know, why not? Why can't they do it again? It's They have such a fantastic squad. And for Mane, I mean, the way he's talking in the press conference, I'm not going to say anything now. like Because he's not sure. He might want to leave. The way when someone says that, they're not sure. They, they might want to look for another adventure. So it looks like Sadio Mane might leave from what he speaks in the press conference. 
Yeah, it does. It does seem that way. If that is the case, I mean, that is going to be a big player to try to replace. Obviously, we know what he does for the team from the front. They defend from the front with that front three. They press the way they press the defenders. If they could get someone who's uh, similarly as good as doing that, you know, it could still be a good uh, season for Liverpool uh, next season. But unfortunately for them, they've lost the Champions League final. Congratulations to Real Madrid. We'll end it there. Sahil, thanks for joining us. In the meantime, guys, head to golfnews.com for all the latest news, reviews and videos. And we'll be back for more football chat soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.